What's going on YouTube, it's your man Christian, back at it again. And today I have a very small yet powerful, but best of all simple element that I'm going to teach you how to make within Adobe Illustrator that has the potential to really elevate your videos and add some personality. And that element is something that I use in almost all of my videos and thumbnails on this channel, which is handwritten titles. And the best part about this, depending on who you are, is that it requires no drawing tablet. So what I'm about to run you through, while it is pretty simple, it does require some extra steps that you could knock out with a drawing tablet very easily, but I think that this way adds a lot more character and it looks a lot more organic. So while there are some extra steps, I think it's 100% worth it. This is normally the part where I would tell you to sit back and relax with your favorite snack. However, we're gonna get a little bit more hands-on today with this mixed media technique. So sit back with your drawing pads, pens, and pencils, fire up Adobe Illustrator, and let's learn something. Alright guys, so now it is officially time to hit the drawing pad. This is one of the funnest parts of the whole experience and this is where you can really personalize it and make it your own. So let's flip to a fresh page and get started. I am going to use a purple pen. I would not advise this. Um, I would typically go with something kind of strong and dark like a pilot pen or something like that maybe, but this is all we have. Really you can use any color pen as long as it will leave a good dark mark. So don't stress too much about it. We're gonna go with the purple. So before we put ink on paper, I would advise you to go very simple with this. It's very easy to kind of write something be like, nope, hate that, rip, start all over again. As you can see on previous pages, I wrote something several times. So write nice and kind of not too small, but write small enough to where you give yourself enough area for more attempts. I think the best practice for us today would be to start by writing our names. I think it's something that we're very comfortable and familiar writing, and I think that it would fit really well to be able to even use for an intro or something down the road so that you actually come out of this with something useful. And get artistic with it. The normal style that I use for my titles is in no way, shape, or form similar to my actual handwriting when taking notes or anything like that. As you can see from some of my old titles, I like an almost artistically sloppy type of look. All right, so I'm going to get started. This is the first attempt on my name. All right, I actually like this a lot. The S is a little crazy looking right here. I'm gonna do it maybe two more times. Again, don't get too lost in this. It's something that's just kind of fun to experiment with. Do not overthink it. Another good thing about doing it a few times is that you'll see when we go into the next steps, you can actually pull elements from more than one of them. So if I like the way my first name looks right here the most, I can use that one. And if I like my last name right here the most, I could pair it up to create the best of both worlds. While we're at it, let's go ahead and draw something fun like a camera. All right guys, by no means am I an artist with pen and paper, but we have ourselves a little icon here, again with that kind of sloppy, rushed style that I like the look of. And we're gonna move on to the next step, which is simply taking a picture with your phone. So I'm going to get something to weigh this back flap down right here. I'm going to use my trusty camera. All right, so we have our phone camera on. I would advise that you turn the flash on. Maybe not if you're in a well-lit environment like this, but just to make sure we get all the details nice and crisp, I like to have my flash on. And then I'm actually going to take a picture of the names and the camera separate. You can have more than one title and one photo because we're essentially just going to kind of crop the photo later. So I'm going to take a picture of my names. And now I'm going to take a picture of the little icon that I created. All right, perfect. I do not think that you guys can see these, but all that matters is that you got some good photos. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next step, which is simply sending them to yourself, whether that be through email, Google Drive, Dropbox, you get the idea, choose your fighter. All that matters is that we get them onto our main editing rig. Okay, so the next step is making sure that you have Adobe Illustrator open and ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna click Create New. And we're gonna have this dialog box open up. You can size this however you want. I'm gonna be using these in videos, so I'm gonna kinda of size them to a 1080 video. I'm gonna go over here and switch it to pixels. You can do inches or whatever. And I'm gonna do simply 1920 by 1080. All right, so now we have our big, beautiful, empty canvas right here. And the next step is to drop our picture in. So we go to File and Place and find wherever our photo is. Mine is on my desktop. So we're gonna place it onto the canvas. Doesn't really matter where, just go ahead and drop it on. 
Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty huge right now. All we gotta do is downsize. And here we go. This next step is where the magic happens and it's by clicking image trace. So with the photo selected, I'm going to go over to image trace. If you don't have this over here, just go to window and find image trace right here. It's in alphabetical order. You'll see it right here. So I'm gonna select image trace and I'm going to hit black and white logo. You can experiment with some of these other ones, but black and white logo for me at least works the best with titles. Okay. All right, you can already see where this is really starting to come together, but we do have some further customization options that we can check out. So with it still selected, I'm gonna go over here to the image trace panel. It's this little icon right here. We're gonna click it. And the first thing that we're gonna do is play with the threshold. So I'm gonna move it up and try to make these a little thicker. All right, let's do a little bit more. Okay, so right here you'll see where you may start to run into some issues, right here and right here and wherever yours may be. And that is due to shadows in the picture. This is one of those things that's kind of nitpicky and weird with this method, but I use it to my advantage and you'll see how I do that in a few. And here is where I can emphasize the most why I don't like using a drawing tablet for this. If we zoom in, you can just see that this has a lot of cool kind of character. It has a very handwritten feel to it. And with drawing tablets, you can definitely use different brush strokes and different kind of various options to customize it. I'm just not that great with all that stuff. And I like the process of this. I like writing out my own titles on paper and transferring them in and just seeing how they come out. Part of it is that wild unpredictability. You never know how Illustrator and Image Trace are going to treat it. So it's just kind of like a surprise each time. No two are ever the same. So I'm gonna take this threshold back down a bit. All right, so now that everything is free from shadows, you can click this advanced option right here and get a few extra customization choices. You can play with this corner slider, noise and paths. I find that these don't really do that much. I kind of just like to mess with the threshold. And after that, this is super important. We need to click ignore white. And you can't see it right here, but if it was out on the side of the artboard, it will turn this into basically a transparent background where all of this would have stayed white previously. Okay, so now we are in the home stretch. The next step is to click expand. I'm gonna close this out and now we have an image that we can pretty much do whatever we want with. So I'm going to start by getting rid of some of this artifacting. I'm just gonna click my direct selection tool and come and click in the middle of it and just hit backspace and just kind of start deleting some of it. I'm going to leave some of it as well. I'm gonna leave like these little things right here and you'll see why in just a moment, but I'm gonna get rid of the main stuff. Maybe that line right here will even be cool to keep. I'm gonna hang on to that too. Okay, so personally, I think that this first one right here turned out the best. I think it translated the best. So I'm going to stick with that one. So I'm gonna draw a box around it and then hit V or my regular selection tool up here. And I'm just gonna kind of move it off to the side and away from everything else. And then I'm going to delete everything that I don't want. Okay, so now that I've gotten rid of everything that I don't want, you will notice that when you click on something, all of it is selected. All we have to do to get rid of that is Control Shift G, which is going to ungroup it. You can also do this by object and ungroup. It's grayed out because I've already done it. So now you'll see when I click it, it's kind of broken up into its own little thing and all of this is independent now. I'm gonna move these little particles out of the way and I'm gonna select my name and make it nice and big here. Let's center it up. And now here comes some of the fun customization part with these little artifacts that I talked to you about. You'll actually notice that in my little by Eli signature that's at the beginning and end of all of my videos, I use some of this as well. So we're gonna drag this somewhere, maybe right here in between it could look cool. Something like that, maybe you, know, you could select it all and even rotate it and do like I have it with my signature and kind of put it down here. I think it looks pretty cool right there. And you know, something like with this line, we could even do something like this. Whatever you end up with, again, this is super cool in the fact that every single one of them is different. And you may be able to even take a picture of a blank page and do something where you can find cool shadows in that type of way. I'm not a huge fan of this line, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it. I think these kind of look cool where they are right there. So 
that is it. We are done with our title. And with any icons, we'll just wash, rinse, repeat, do the exact same process. Let's go file place and find the picture of the icon that I made and go to image trace, black and white logo. All right, it is looking a bit rough, so let's increase that threshold. There we go, I really like the way that looks. So I'm going to click ignore white and then expand, starting to look like a mess. Let's move that away from everything else. I'm gonna use my direct select tool to start getting rid of some of these artifacts, but I'm gonna leave some to play with. All right, I think that we are done. And now that I'm looking at it, this might as well be a logo creation tutorial as well, because I mean, if I move this kind of down center or right here, this is a logo, you know, this is a watermark. This is something that you can use for branding purposes as well as titles. That being said, there are a couple of more things that we can do. So I'm gonna select my name right here. If we want to thicken this up a bit, all we have to do is add a stroke to it. And then we're gonna crank it up a little bit. We're gonna see what that looks like. So if I wanted it to be a bit more beefy, this is almost getting into like graffiti looking territory. I could mess around with that. Okay, so the final step is making this whatever color that you want. And the good news is that this is outline based, so you can just select everything and change the fill. So I'm just gonna make this white because I make all of my titles white. So I'm going to save it as an AI file at first. I do recommend that you save everything in its raw format as well so that you can come back in and edit the colors and whatnot later. And then all we're gonna do from here is go to file, export, export as, Hardy name title, and we can go down and select PNG. The PNG will ensure that the background is transparent, and you can even see right here, you can kind of make out some of that title a little bit. We wanna make the resolution highest possible. We're gonna go 300 PPI, 150, you can be fine too. I'm gonna to keep it at 300 in case I ever wanna scale it up a little bigger, and click OK. And there it is, guys, in all of its glory. And it's something that just can't be recreated fully digital, you know? We had an actual hand in this, we wrote the ink on the paper and we came out with something completely one of one, unique and beautiful. So I'm very excited about this and to bring this to you guys, I honestly debated on whether or not I should keep this a secret. I know that the fundamental technique is not a secret as a whole, but this is something that I really do love to spice up my videos with and it's something that Ultimately, I was like, you know what? No, I cannot keep this for myself. I've got to share this with everyone and hopefully you guys can get something out of it too. All right, guys, that is going to be it for today. I really hope that you liked this and got something out of it. It was definitely fun to do something different. You know, normally I'm in the video and photo editing area and it was cool to kind of show you guys my graphics background as well. That's actually what I went to college for. I do have a digital art degree. So it's cool to kind of revisit that and kind of incorporate that into my current work. I do a lot of things in Illustrator actually, so if this is something that you would like me to dive deeper into, definitely let me know and I will be happy to do so. And overall, just let me know what else you'd like to see on this channel in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support. Always remember that you are blessed and you are loved. I'm signing off for today. You guys take care and as always, I'll be back soon.